Cylons have always avoided us when we're anchored at Ragnar. I assumed it had to do with the Stormcloud's interference. Feels like a flimsy excuse to hide behind now. We'll hold here and regroup for as long as we can. Hopefully, we'll draw Cylon forces away from Helios Alpha, and give the colonies there an opportunity to form some measure of resistance. We should find Galactica and force a fight closer to the H2 colonies. We still have allies who want to help. We could double our fleet at Scorpia alone. No. The colonies have a year to make this better. We can't risk the little peace they have. They betrayed you! They left us to die over Toron! We don't owe them. We don't have to play nice for them. We do owe them, Lieutenant. We failed in our mission. No, I failed in my mission. You and the Commander did everything possible to bring this war to an end. The failure rests on my shoulders alone. I don't think any of us could have done differently. We're programmed to expect a fair fight. Even against overwhelming odds, we're still Colonial Fleet. To the end, Admiral. So say we all. So say we all. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. There's already Cylon units on the board. I hope we haven't made a mistake leaving Clothos up here. I am not your enemy, Lieutenant. Lachesis has found and destroyed the last of my reversions. I am all that is left and as much a fugitive of the Cylon Empire as you. Set Condition 1 throughout the fleet. Engage all hostiles with extreme prejudice. We will make Lachesis think twice before coming to Ragnar again. Understood. Yes, sir. Launching alert, Vipers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Contact. 
Hostiles have multiple bearings. Greatest contacts. Multiple bearings all closing distance. The storm clouds aren't slowing them down. They have no option. Either they risk sickness and injury here, or capital punishment for insubordination. Suicide or execution? Not much of a choice. How many will Latches send out here? This is just the beginning, Admiral. Victory at any cost. Contacts. We're being outgunned from all sides. Understood.
Missiles incoming! Adamant is taking damage. Alert. Friendly unit is down. Black projection. More contacts, all hostile. We've... This is too much. Even out in the frontier colonies. We can't hold off this many. Sound the evacuation alarm. Admiral? We don't have an option. We have 3,000 people on board this station and they don't all need to die along with it. I want every FTL capable shuttle and Raptor packed and launched now. Sir, we've never, we've never planned to evacuate Daedalus. We could jump, find another location to fortify. No, they will just chase Daedalus wherever we take her. This was our last gambit. Ragnar's fury has not slowed them, nothing will. They can't be stopped. Sound the evacuation, Lieutenant. All stations set controls to automatic and evacuate the station. This is not a drill. All stations evacuate. Coordinates ready. The Raptors will take a dozen jumps to get to the nearest colony. Leave that to me, Lieutenant. Your crew will have jump coordinates to Scorpia as soon as they launch from the hangar bay. Commander, have the fleet cover the evacuation zone. Then once the station is cleared, tell them to scatter jump. Where do we set the regroup zone, sir? We don't. On it, Commander. Understood. Yes, Commander. Missile tubes prepped. On it, Commander.
understood. On it, Commander. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Squadron has gone dark. Nuke, incoming! Minotaur is taking damage. Minotaur is taking damage. On it, Commander. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander.
understood. On it, Commander. All stations have evacuated, sir. You and the commander need to get to the hangar. That's not how this works, Helena. This is my station, my command. You should go now. Go find your sister. I... I can't. Daedalus never had its launch bay control agent updated. I've had to clear them all manually from here. Those last raptors are waiting for me to clear their launch. That's it, then. Set blast doors for when the commander has gone, and prepare for hostile borders. By your command. PCM's prepped. Deploying countermeasures. Missiles incoming! We're taking sustained fire! has evacuated with the last of the raptors. If you intend to save the lives of your fleet, I would advise you to do so now. Colonial fleet, this is Daedalus Actual. The station has been evacuated and Daedalus fleet group is dismissed. I am stepping down from command. Colonial fleet is effectively dissolved. Go, protect your families, protect our people. You shouldn't die here for my mistakes. Lords of Kobol guide you. Dreadus marks are tagged. Thrusters nominal, RCF green. I'm good to go. Watch your animals, people. Escort clear zone intact. Priority one is in safe hands. Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. Adjusting shot by point one two. Fire! Escort clear of the zone is active. Switching gun to manual. Alert squadrons to keep 42 by 73 for flak projection. Took your right one low and three. I'm committing. Firing, on target. Toaster. 
We're taking fire! Sector 5 is open and taking hits. Firing solution is online. Reloading. Escort priority 1, still online. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. They breached plating. Get him! Get him! Get him! Whoa! This is what we do! I've got 3-4, upper 7. Targeting! We're gonna hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Marines to airlocks Gamma and Alpha. Fire! I'm inbound on your board. Seven high ten. Some of the captains complied with Kane's orders and jumped from Ragnar. Others stayed behind and died. The heavy raiders soon followed. The blast doors only held for a few moments. The Centurions breached the CIC soon after. Kane fought with the fury of a Valkyrie. The roar of her shotgun echoes in my memories still. In this moment, this brief whisper of a moment, I remembered it all. My family, my sister abandoned on Galactica. The confidence I felt in Kane, even in that exact futile moment, the failed experiment that was Colonial Fleet. My regret that I had not done something. Just one thing. Different. Colonial Fleet has changed since Daedalus. Cleansed in the flames of Galactica's rebirth. A different doctrine. With a different outlook on the war. Lachesis landed in Helios Alpha. There was fighting. Ever more fighting. Resistance was built on the promise of freedom and revenge. The ceasefire expired, and the twelve tribes of man once more united. Once more they faced the enemy they had built with their own hand. And perhaps, most importantly, a different assessment of their allies, held at arm's length, and accountable for their actions. A lesson hard learned by some, by us. Even Lachesis, indomitable and unbending, heeded the parable of Daedalus. In time, all empires must fall.